Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Tiara and I'm here with another life update. Someone asked a question about my vision board that I completed with some of my friends at the beginning of the year. So I wanted to come and just share a couple of my goals and show my vision board to you all. So I wanted to start this off by sharing, I guess, how I began to like think about doing my vision board and stuff like that. And I have to attribute this inspiration and <clears throat> motivation and goal oriented demeanor um, to my business I would not have entered 2017 thinking to write down my goals on paper if it had not been for the business that I joined and the self-development that I have gained since being in this business um, and I from that self-development like I'm my mind is like constantly going and I'm constantly examining myself and my situation and what I'm doing right and wrong and um, that is why I wanted to just come and do this video because I've just been thinking about so many things so in church on New Year's Eve night my pastor preached about time and um, I just made some pointers about some of the things that he touched on. So I'm just going to share those with you and just share how it relates to like my goals, my vision board and where the space that I am in right now with the decisions that I'm trying to make. So um, time, you become what you spend your time on. Um, so basically he was indicating that if you're spending your time um, being lazy, that is what you become. If you're spending your time being successful or attempting to be successful that is what you're gonna become so just think about that you spend whatever you spend your time on is what you will become um, he also indicated that you wasted your time in 2016 and maybe years before but now it's time to redeem your time and the word redeem means to get back he also um, related that to Jesus and Jesus is our redeemer he came to win us back and bring us back to God so um, now it's time for us to get our time back that we wasted by going extra hard in 2017 to reach those goals that we have set if money can be managed, so can time. Um, so he said that we should be very disciplined with our time. Plan your car rides. So if you are spending your car rides, listen to Steve Harvey, love him, but um, think about other things that you could be spending your time on in the car. I know I like to talk to my business partners in the car. I used to listen to like inspirational or motivational speakers during my car ride. Um, he also suggested listening to books. Another thing that you can do is plan your day before the day. I know a lot of times people wake up and say, okay, I need to make a list of what I need to do today. Imagine how much extra time you would have had in that day if you would have made your list prior to. So I try to plan my weeks out a week in advance. So on Sunday, that's like my planning day. Another thing that he said is protect your plan by protecting your time. Um, we always say like throw around, I don't have time for that, I don't have time for that. And you need to not have time for things that do not attribute or contribute to your goals like if it's not helping your goals or help you get closer to where you want to be then you don't need to spend your time on it um, so I've made my plan and now it's time for me to protect my plan and I actually came home and I had this on my desk so I decided to put this like right in front of my vision board because I felt like it was like the perfect reminder to protect my time like time is ticking um, and if you really want to meet your goals in 17 then you gonna respect that time or in that saying <laughs> so yeah right in my vision board what I decided to do I knew I wanted to do it with my husband because he is my other half and anything that I accomplish in 2017 he's gonna be a big part of it. So what I wanted to do was to do my vision board with him. And then my friends were like, um, Tierra, you should do it with us. So I was like, okay. Um, and then I thought about it because my husband's really not gonna cut out pictures and help me glue and make my board look cute and stuff like that. So that's really not something he would do. But realistically, he would sit down with me and write a list of goals. So I actually um, went in my book, I have like a little journal and this is what I use for my business and everything and I actually suggest that everyone get one and start using one because it's really helpful. So I sat down with him 
and I literally opened my book and I went directly to um, this page in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 was there and basically it says for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future and I was like wow like the way that he knows how to send signs are just amazing to me so um, seeing that that just really um, excited me <laughs> so so this is my dream board here. There it is. There <laughs> it is. So um, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, guys, because I feel like it's a lot to go through. But um, basically, a lot of the things on this board is related to my business and my family. So if you guys can see right here, CJ and I are planning for baby number two in 2017. We plan to start trying around the summer, preferably August, um, because I want a May baby. So that is that. And then uh, unlock your confidence, make it happen. It's time to move forward. Um, master small talk great product all of those things are in reference to my business um i don't know how to hold this thing guys it's like big yes. so um unlock your confidence make it happen um way to the top get your good going my company offers these huge bonuses whenever you hit a promotion and they're literally called the good bonuses and they stand for get out of debt that's what the good stands for so trying to get that and then here is my compensation plan for my business i'm currently at the ruby rank and my goal is to be an ambassador i know that it's a stretch but someone once told me that if your dreams don't scare you they're not big enough so um god got me and i'm crazy enough to believe that he could do it so okay this is so i don't know if we're gonna move in 2017 because i just don't know but me and CJ have viewed this home. We've already got like the numbers and such stuff like that. And this is um, the next home that we envision ourselves in. Um, so I just put it here. I also put dream home because that could also mean us like doing some different things to our current home to change it up so that uh, we can like feel comfortable staying in this home a little bit longer. So I'm not sure like where we're going to go with this, but... I put it here because we really like this layout in this home. Okay. Um, what else? I also want to get healthier in 17. Um, I feel like my weight kind of fluctuates. And I want to get to my healthy weight, my happy weight, and stay there. So I put that. Um, here is 150000 That is my goal for 2017. Again, I know it's a stretch, but I know that with God, all things are possible. So that is how many subscribers I wish to get on my channel this year. Um, what else? I have give here because I want to tithe every single month this year. Um, I have learned the importance of tithing. I didn't understand it when I was younger, but I understand now that you're not giving to the church. You're giving God what you owe him. So, um... Everywhere in the Bible, whenever God gave something, he had like a chunk of it belonged to him. So think about the Garden of Eden and the tree that Adam and Eve weren't supposed to touch. And think about when he um, fed those 5,000 people and he had, he had something first. So everything that you do, God deserves a piece of it. And I know that I need to get better with that because if you're not tithing, one, you may be living outside of your means, and two, you may, uh, whatever you're not tithing is going to end up coming out anyway, so you might as well give it to God instead of giving it to a car or fixing your car or something like that. So make sure that you're tithing, guys. So that's something I want to do. Um... Bring your A game because this year is packed with opportunities. I have um, Master Small Talk because I realized that it's going to help me with networking and with my business. Um, 
we have great products guys like I really genuinely love our products and I put it here because I want to get more comfortable like speaking about our products and our product line that we have um so yeah what else I will be getting my EDS in March so I did include that over here on my dream on my little list because that is a whole nother thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm honestly considering stopping school after I get my EDS because I went to one of our conferences and I swear like God has been giving me signs all along, but it takes like you to be in the perfect place at the perfect time for you to get that sign and understand what it means. So I was at the conference that I, um, posted my vlog about One Team, One Mission a couple weeks ago. And basically, I learned at that conference that, Tierra, what you're doing is digging yourself deeper and deeper in debt. Yes, I will get paid more with the, um, yes, I will get paid more with my doctorate, but it's not considerably more. It's a couple of thousands. I have a multi-million opportunity in front of me with my business. And it would be crazy for me to keep digging myself deeper in debt when I could dedicate my time to um, my business and make additional money. When I decided to go back to get my doctorate, it was for the sole purpose of two things. To be able to spend more time with my family and two, to be able to um, gain more money. And I feel like since I have prayed for that, since I have started school, I have gotten those two things. Because I took those first couple of education courses, I was able to transition to a school social work job. I now have holidays off, I have Christmas break, I have the summer break. That is more time, Tierra. I have spring break. Um, I also have gotten extra money from that and I've gotten extra money from my business. So why haven't I realized that God has already answered my prayer and that I don't need to keep digging myself in debt more and more? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to actually go through with not finishing my doctorate because I honestly love school. I love being in school. But the question, what it's going to boil down to is, Tierra, is it worth you going deeper in debt to be in school or should you wait, get to where you want to be financially and pay your way through school to get your doctorate? So that is where I am right now. I have not made a final decision, but um, yeah, I will get my EDS in March. Um, so that will, if I decide to stop, that will be when I stop after I get my EDS. So, um, glow above and beyond, step up. Um, what else? Yeah, that's basically like all the main ones. Um, my baby, CJ, wants to get his Windows 7 certification, which is another certification that he can get, um, in the IT field. Um, so we put that up there and we want to get a new SUV for our family because we need a new car. Um, so we're going to do that. He also wants to pay off his car, which he will do in 17. I don't have any questions or doubt about that. I was hesitant sharing this board at first, but I feel like um, if you have faith, then you know it doesn't matter if everything that is on my board does not come to pass because... Whatever happens is what God wanted to happen. And me being able to come back and look at this video and see what I like prayed for and like set out for myself at the beginning of 2017 and seeing how many things actually come to be like that's going to just blow my mind away. And I hope it will blow your minds away too. So guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, um, these things are going to happen, so go ahead and subscribe so that you can see what happens in 17. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Thanks. Bye.